Hey guys, what's up? It's Bob Ultron, back out of another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this new Funk Pop that I got. You may be wondering, what the fuck exactly is this? Well, this is the comic cover Harley Quinn, uh, Harleen Quinzel, uh, thing. This is my first one of these, obviously the first one I've ever read in the channel. So, you see the box here, with the side image of Harley herself, Harleen Quinzel, number 15 from DC. Um, on the top here we have the comic covers um like pop logo there who wants to uh focus on the other corner we have the number 15 along with the uh price sticker that uh, you know showing that i got it for 10 pound in smith's toy superstores there's dc logo pop uh, pop comic covers on this side of the box as normal the name harleen quinzel number 15 with her like half head art there and then on the back of the box, you see we have Harley's thing here. On the top, we have the Harley or Harley Quinn number fifteen pop covers, and then her like actual comic cover, which is her like not completely masked up or like painted face style. And then DC Super Villain or Superheroes on the bottom there, along with all the other stuff. So yeah, if you like this video, before we properly take a look at this. Hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. So you can see more of this content when it's released and all that. So what this is, I'll quickly take it out of the box, is just a giant like plastic case with the Funko Pop on it, along with the thing. Um, the way this box actually is designed, you can see it is legit just big hollow space. It doesn't have like the plastic insert the way normal boxes do. I would be careful though, because these two little like flaps are not the sturdiest. Mines are like the flaps on my box are already to uh are already starting to sort of uh you know show wear. But yeah, this is what it looks like out of the box. You see Harley's Funko Pop there. I'll do bring the camera down and show it in a moment properly but you can see harley in the back there which you know if we turn around the back there's nothing specifically there to show bar this big thing here which this actually shows or is the thing you can just about see it hopefully in there of how harley herself is actually sort of held in the box just by that big screw there um then on the top of it if you see this hole and this hole is how you will be able to put this on a wall. I'm not actually going to do it for the sake of, I don't have anywhere that actually, um, you know, I can put it. That and I haven't taken the like protective cover off mine yet. Cause as you can see the top here, it's got like that wrap stuff on it just to keep it nice and untouched. Cause I did actually think there was a big, like big uh, sort of mark on the front of it. But then I realized it had like the, plastic wrap over it so it wasn't too bad but yeah i'm gonna take it off and then actually show harley herself so let's do that so here you have harley out of her like out of the plastic wrap i just you know threw it off to the side and here we have harley herself which this funko pop is absolutely amazing looking for tenor as well to get the whole thing is amazing but harley's design there i'll maybe try and turn my flash on i don't think that's actually a wise idea i will not just at the moment you can see the design if it wants to say focused. Like you got her face. Let me try it. Let me bring a bit of natural light in. You can see how it kind of looks there. You got like the paint or the mascara, you know, dripping from her potentially crying or being wet outside. Then the big crack in her mask. She's got the red lipstick as always, which is actually it looks a bit brighter than the comic cover in the back there. But then she's got the rest of her mask, which is done in the white and the black. As always, on the black side, or the dark grey black side, you can actually see her eyebrow, which is really cool. Got the white eye, just in Funko fashion. For her outfit, excuse the glare there, but <clears throat> her outfit is very, you know, normal Harley look with the black and red uh, Jester um, Harlequin design. She's even got like her mask or hat piece there in her hand, which is really, really cool. Um, she's got her mallet in her holler hand, which looks amazing. She has on a bit of a base stand there, but it looks of things, which I think, don't quote me in this, but you are able to open this, I think, just by the way, like, this is all working. I think, realistically, you're able to, like, maybe pop it open and 
is like and you can't see it at this angle but there's also these little bits holding the at least i assume holding it in play like the the art into place or something but I'm, I'm sure there's probably a way to open this safely though i'm not quite sure i don't want to i don't want to fuck about with it in case i break it so i'm not going to try and open it i'm ha obviously happy enough the way it is this is going to either be on a shelf hopefully by itself with pile other ones or it's going to be like on a harley quinn shelf because i as you've seen in previous videos i do have a good small or a good enough collection of harley quinn figures or funko pops so yeah um, but that's it for Harley. You can see her obviously her hair is done and whatever as well. But if I turn it back up to her art in the background, this is a comic cover. Not quite sure what comic cover, but a comic cover, which just looks absolutely amazing. Like, just it's Harley. Obviously, it's been translated very well. I do love it the bits. Like for for what it is, it's just absolutely amazing. Like, I'm so happy I was able to get this at a discounted price as well. Because I was actually looking at it, like, weeks ago and was like, hmm, if I see it, I'll pick it up. But, obviously, I saw it. Um, the other cool thing I like about this is it says, in, like, clear there, Funko, sort of embossed into the plastic. The same with the giant pop logo is kind of, like, embossed into it as well. Um, on the bottom, there's nothing, I don't think. Nope, just the DC... Funko LLC sort of stuff on it. Nothing terribly special. But I assume if you're already able to open this, you'd be able to take her off, the, uh, take the stand out and everything. But I don't honestly think it would look pretty good like that. Um, for size comparison, I'm going to grab a Funko Pop off my shelf because they're within arm's reach. Here we have Scarlet Witch. Let me, let me bring down a bit. Here we have Scarlet Witch from... The WandaVision TV show. And here we have Miss Marvel from the movie. Um, these are the first two I picked. Obviously, they're Marvel. I don't have any of my Harley Quinns out of box at the moment. But you see, she's Harley herself. It's like that normal sort of four inch tall Funko Pop size. Just normal size. But the box itself is pretty tall. I'll say that. Probably about 10 inches. I'd say that. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, it's really cool. I like it. Um, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, that's going to, I suppose, do it for this video. And if you like it, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. I might do a follow-up video if I can find, like, a, a, either a way to open this safely or whenever I get like the materials to actually put it up on the wall i might do like a quick small video of how to or something stupid like that i don't know maybe whenever i get a collection or get my collection put together again i might do like a organizing my collection video or something like that but yeah for now that's harley quinn along with her <coughs> excuse me that's harley quinn and her comic cover and yeah if you like it let me know in the comments and i will see you guys soon with something else goodbye